Hello and welcome to the key feature presentation of the MIFA Plus EB2. In this session, I want to introduce the SL1, SL3 mixed mode, combining the Crypto One and a yes authentication of the product. My name is Daniel Rinner. I am the product manager for the MIFA Plus family and located in Austria, Gratcon. I would like to introduce to you the SL1, SL3 mixed mode by enabling both operation modes to support Crypto One and AES authentication to allow a seamless migration into existing infrastructures. That is served with the possibility of sector-wise migrations and that both operation modes are supported on the MIFI Plus EV2, meaning not the entire card needs to be switched from one security level to the next, but only the sectors of need. It also adds the benefit to manage the physical card in a secure way over the security level three interface with the AES authentication towards the backend system via the NFC enabled smartphone. That offers the product to be supported in an existing reader infrastructure in use of security level one, the MIFA classic backwards compatibility mode and the security level three with the strong AES authentication. The MIFA Plus EV2 offers the option for card issuers to configure the product in the SL1, SL3 mix mode, which enables the product to operate with either Crypto One or AES authentication on card or sector level basis. That adds the benefit that the physical card can be exchanged in an existing infrastructure in use of Crypto One. By the exchange of the cards and the support of both security levels, with security level one, the MIFA Classic backwards compatibility mode, and the support of the security level three with the 128-bit AES authentication, it allows to offer a step-by-step -step security upgrade of the system where needed. Means not the entire infrastructure needs to be migrated from one day to another, but it offers the option to do it in a step-by-step -step approach. Thinking, for example, of an access management system with the requirement of a strong authentication at the main entrance, but without the need to update or exchange all the reader terminals inside the building, for example, at the printer or the coffee machine. Furthermore, the SL1, SL3 mixed mode enables the feature to manage the card in a secure way over the air in an end-to-end -end channel with the backend system where the NFC-enabled smartphone is only used as a router between the physical card and the backend system. That enables end customers to manage their physical card over the air in a secure way with the NFC-enabled smartphone, while the existing infrastructure can stay as is. That allows to add end customer benefits without the need to invest and update the existing infrastructure in place. Thinking about public transport operators expanding the station in the city out of the urbanization, it gives the operator the choice to invest into additional vending machines or to allow the end users to upload their money on the physical card over the air. By adding customer experience and reducing the cost of operations and maintenance of vending machines. The MIFA Plus EV2 also allows in the SL1, SL3 mix mode to restrict the data blocks, value blocks, as well sector trailers from the Crypto One interface. That helps to limit fraud in an existing infrastructure. In addition, the product offers as well a new transaction timer to mitigate man in the middle attacks by setting a maximum time a transaction is allowed to take. The product also supports originality checks to identify the product in the field. Overall, the product helps to minimize the total cost of ownership by support of sector-wise security upgrades for the relevant applications and the option to add end customer benefits by managing the card in a secure way over the air. Now on this slide, I want to present the two authentication modes of the product in SL1, SL3 mixed mode. On top of the slide, an existing reader infrastructure is shown with the MIFA Plus EV2 in the configured SL1, SL3 mixed mode to allow an operation in security level one with the Crypto One authentication. 
that shows the possibility of an exchange of the physical card in the field without the need to update the infrastructure. In case of specific activation parameters, the product offers the possibility to set customized activation parameters. These settings can be applied via the MIFA Plus configuration block. Furthermore, the product offers a SL1 restriction to limit the risk of fraud from the SL1 interface. Means the full rights are granted from the SL3 interface, but from SL1 interface only, for example, a read or decrement is allowed. That's of benefit if the infrastructure cannot be updated for the time being, but brings additional countermeasures to the service provider. On the bottom of the slide, the secure over the air end to end channel of the physical card towards the backend system with the AES authentication is shown. That allows a secure connection of the card with the backend system over the NFC enabled smartphone. Of importance is that the mobile is the router between the secure physical card and the backend system. This allows to manage the physical card over the air in a secure way to increment the value on the card via the NFC enabled smartphone and adds the benefit to the end customer that he stays in control of the card at any time at any place. To allow both authentication with Crypto One and AES authentication, then MIFA Plus EV2 needs to be be configured in the so-called SN1 SL3 mix mode shown on the next slide. On this slide, the three security levels are shown and the way how to configure the MIFA Plus EV2 into the SL1 SL3 mix mode. The product is delivered out of NXP manufacturing in the security level zero. That's the initial delivery configuration with the need to personalize the product with write and commit browser commands. It is recommended to write all keys, even not required, from the beginning. The AES keys for the security level switch is the so-called SL1, SL3 switch key. The security level switch can be done either on the full card or on a sector by sector basis. Means as soon as the product is in security level one, the card is flexible to be upgraded on a sector by sector basis. Or the full card can be switched to the higher security level. A security level switch from higher level to a lower security level is not allowed. Of importance is that the defined byte of the sector switch in the MIFA Plus configuration block must be configured to allow a sector wise security switch. That change must be applied in the initial delivery state during personalization of the product. The MIFA Plus EV2 offers in addition to restrict data blocks, value blocks, as well as sector trailers from Crypto One interface by overruling the access conditions from the security level three. That allows to restrict the access rights from SL1 interface and requires an AES authentication, for example, to write and increment the value block on the product. For more product details, please check on the official webpage of nxp.com or mifer.net or get in contact with our NXP salespersons. The product types are launched and ready to order. Data sheets, application notes, and software packages, including sample codes, are available via the official distribution channel. With that, I want to thank you for your time and your interest on the SL1 SL3 mixed mode of the MIFA Plus EV2. Thank you.